The hero of Hyrule has reappeared in many forms throughout the Legend of Zelda series, and five of those iterations of Link have found their way into Smash. Smash 64 featured Link's adult Ocarina of Time design as part of the base roster, boasting moves like the Bomb, Boomerang, and Spin Attack that are still staples of his Smash moveset. In Melee, Ocarina Link was brought back, perhaps with a fairy, but this time adding his trademark bow and arrow. Melee also added Young Link, featuring his Majora's Mask design to the roster. Canon-wise, these two could actually be the same Link, but then we'd have to get into timelines and stuff, and it's just a headache. Let's just say they're different Links. Smash Bros. Brawl then replaced adult Ocarina of Time Link with Twilight Princess Link, keeping most of his movesets unchanged, but swapping the traditional boomerang for the Gale boomerang, and aesthetically switching the hook shot for the claw shot. Brawl also replaced Young Link with Toon Link, featuring his Wind Waker design. Despite being another prepubescent Link, Toon Link plays very different from Young Link, with a modified set of aerials, normal arrows instead of fire arrows, and much floatier movement, even considering the change in physics from melee to brawl. Smash 4 carried over the same links as Brawl, with very few insignificant moveset changes. Finally, Smash Ultimate unites the three main Link movesets for the first time, featuring Young Link from Majora's Mask, Wind Waker's Toon Link, and a slightly tweaked Adult Link rocking his new Breath of the Wild design. Although it doesn't necessarily reflect in their viability, Toon Link's and Young Link's movesets remain mostly unchanged from previous iterations, but the new Breath of the Wild Link features a notable change in his Remote Bomb, as well as the removal of his Tether Grab and Gale Boomerang. So if Hyrule needed saving, Again, which one of these links should we send out? In this video, we're gonna find out who is the weakest link. Well, either way, the link you should be checking out first is the link to ProGuys.com that you can find right there in the video description. On our website, you'll find tier lists, guides, and our pro courses with top players like MKLeo. Now to determine the best and weakest Link, let's break down each of their major points in the competitive metagame. None of the Links have gotten particularly incredible results so far in Ultimate, but each has proven themselves somewhat viable in top level play. For starters, Breath of the Wild Link, who we'll just call Link, is overall the slowest and strongest Link in Ultimate. Due to his versatile remote bomb, Link plays a zoning and setup style, aiming to always have a bomb somewhere on stage or in hand to create an obstacle for the opponent. Because Link can detonate this bomb manually at will, he can create many unique and creative combos into and out of the explosion. The bomb also has its own hurtbox of sorts, meaning that any attacks can knock the bomb away with their own angle and speed, deepening the versatility of this move. While Link's up B spin attack travels the shortest distance of the Link's, his bomb can be Z-dropped and detonated instantly, giving him a versatile recovery regardless. As with other Link's, Link's Boomerang and Arrow can shut off options for the opponent in neutral and let him pressure from a safe distance while he prepares his bomb setups. Link has considerable KO potential with strong knockback on nearly all of his attacks. Most notably, Link can space forward airs for a safe KO option, trap landings with up smash, up tilt, and up air, and punish pressure with up B out of shield. These moves, coupled with Link's bomb setups and bomb edge guarding, make him very scary at kill percent. As for his downsides, Link is particularly slow on the ground and in the air, making him very reliant on his projectiles to keep faster characters from overwhelming him. Despite his safe nair and disjointed down air, Link can also struggle to land against players who understand his options. Although Remote Bomb gives him a good recovery mix-up, Link is still very vulnerable offstage and can be edge guarded consistently in some matchups. Young Link runs much faster than Link and has some frame data to boot. His fire arrow is one of the best projectiles in the game, quickly soaring across the stage with little lag. The best thing about this projectile is its combo potential. In general, Young Link has possibly the best combo game of the three Links, and Fire Arrow is one of his best combo starters. Arrow can combo at most percents into aerials, and at higher percents, it can even combo into itself, and then in up B, or fair to close out stocks. Young Link can also combo out a boomerang, down tilt, fair one, grounded up B, and bomb, to name a few. 
Although his airspeed isn't great, Young Link's up B travels very far vertically and horizontally, allowing him to go deep off stage for edge guards with fair or nair. Young Link's amazing frame data and combos are somewhat compensated for by his lack of KO potential. Compared to Link, he'll often struggle to close out stocks with a stray aerial and instead rely on landing a confirm at higher percents or edge guarding. He's also the lightest of the three Links and outside of his projectiles has relatively low range despite wielding a sword. Finally, Toon Link has the most varied moveset of the Links, using his sword for every aerial, unlike Link and Young Link who use kicks for their nair and bear. Although his frame data is still faster than Link's, Toon Link also generally prefers more of a zoning and setup style, getting most of his damage from projectile pressure and bomb setups. Although he doesn't have too many combos outside of these, his up tilt can link see what I did there? into itself multiple times at low percents and at higher percents into aerials. Toon Link is the fastest Link on the ground and in the air, which makes him pretty tricky to catch as he runs away and throws out his projectiles. He's also the floatiest Link, which can be useful when he's off stage, but also makes him struggle more with landing. Toon Link's main KO options have a bit more knockback than Young Link's, but fewer ways to convert into them. Because of this, he can also struggle to close out stocks, and he's only a little bit heavier than Young Link, so he can be KO'd pretty early too. Now let's look at results. Link found early success with Salem, placing 3rd at Smash Conference United, 7th at Glitch 6, and 13th at Genesis 6 with the character. Salem has since dropped Link, but Japanese player T has continued to get strong results in Japan with Link, as well as taking sets off of Mars, Shu Tone, Zachary, and more. Many young Link solo mains have gotten strong local results with the character, but his best results come as being one of Tweak's secondaries. Tweak used young Link alongside other characters at Glitch 6, where he took first place, defeating players such as Nairo using the character. Toon Link finds himself lacking any notable results at Super Majors, but has seen plenty of success in smaller tournaments, particularly in Japan and Mexico. Xcal's fifth place at DreamHack Montreal 2019 and wishes his win over Puppe with Toon Link show that he can still be a legitimate tournament threat. Okay, weighing each Link's strength and weaknesses alongside with their respective results, we think that right now, Toon Link is the weakest Link. Although he's by no means a bad character, Toon Link's lacking results, poor disadvantage state, and telegraphed kill setups are slightly outlinked by his heroic doppelgangers. In second place, we've chosen Young Link. His explosive combos and oppressive frame data allow him to vary his gameplay between aggression and camping more than the other Links. And representation by a world-class player like Tweak shows us what the character can look like at top level. With the depth of his remote bomb setups, crazy range, damage output, and KO power, we think Breath of the Wild Link is the best Link right now. Despite being dropped by Salem, T's wins prove that this character is no joke in competitive play. So the next time Zelda gets kidnapped or Ganondorf's up to his usual stuff, we're gonna send this guy, alright? He's the best chance we got. So who do you think is the best Link in Ultimate? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe to Pro Guides and click that bell for more videos coming at you every day.